Virgo, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for August the 11th through August the 18th. Angels and guides, angels and guides, what is going on for Virgo these seven little days? Seven little days, that's it, just seven. Mm -hmm. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we're pulling out all the positive energy that we can for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Seven little days. Remember, this is not a love message. No, no, no. This is a general message. Hmm. Okay. What is going on here? Let's get right into this, Virgo. All right, Virgo, we have the Five of Swords reversed with the Ten of Spades and the Eight of Spades, Virgo. So I feel like someone is returning or I feel like there is a thought. There is a thought. I feel like you're thinking, 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 is something going to return to the way it used to be? And with this Ten of of, of spades, you know, in order for it to return to a way it used to be, I feel like there's going to be a lot of, like, it, a lot, it's almost like, in order for it to turn the way it used to be, it, it, it's like, you're gonna have to, it's gonna be like, you see that mountain, and you're at the bottom of the mountain, and, and you have a boulder in your hand, and you're pushing that boulder up the mountain, and you're like, Oh my God, but can you do it? Yes, you can do it, but you know it's gonna take a lot of work, okay? Now, and this is a thought, this is not an actual thing. It's like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of things returning the way they used to be, okay? I'm thinking. Now, in the recent past, you had three of swords with the seven of spades and the seven of clubs. So in the recent past, I feel like there was a lot of indecision on your part or someone else's part, like a lot of indecision. But I feel like it changed, it got better, it definitely got better, but it got better through faith, it got better through prayer, it got better through, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, right? It got better through that, like manifesting and things of that nature. Like it didn't get better on its own. Now, without your assistance. Okay, so now in the middle of the week, we have the Eight of Cups, we have the Ace of Diamonds and the Seven of Hearts. So I feel like in the middle of the week, um, emotionally, I feel like you're stepping aside, you're stepping away from something that emotionally did not serve your highest good. With the Ace of Diamonds, I feel like you're being a little bit more focused on the prize. I feel like you're focused on uh, your financial goals and things of that nature. And when you do that, you're going to be non-attached to what it is that emotionally you are walking away from. From, okay now by the end of the week Virgo you have the Empress card with the king of diamonds and the three of hearts so by the end of the week I feel like I feel like you know emotionally you're feeling better but that emo that emotional uh, uh, complacency or that emotional like I'm, I'm here I'm okay everything is all right in the world I feel like even with that even with that I feel like there's this protect shell around you like this you know what I'm fine emotionally you know what? I'm a be fine so it's like I'm gonna focus on me I'm gonna focus on my um, my financial my power I feel like you're focusing on your power but even within that you're still uncertain definitely feel uncertain now yeah because I feel like there is a there's a manner of I got to protect I'm protecting my energy. I'm protecting my, like, I feel peace. Like, I want to be at peace. And and I'm putting a, a shield around me so that um, I will stay at peace, right? And am I, you're like worried, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be able to stay at peace? Now, the nine of, of swords um, is your bonus with the, the page of the page of cups and the five of clubs and the queen of hearts. So I feel like, there is something that's truly, truly um, worrying you, worrying you a lot to the point where you, that, uh, like you can't even sleep, like you're thinking, you're waking up two, three o'clock in the morning and it's like on your mind. And I feel like it has to do with um, some type of emotional um, offer, like uh, maybe an, it could be an emotional offer from someone that you know, an, uh, like love, right? But with that, 
cup in it. You're like, is this person, is this situation? Maybe it's not about love because remember, this is a general message. It could be about family or something like that. But is this, um, is this, there's something fishy about it. I feel like you're like, there's something fishy about what someone is offering me and it's emotional. And I feel like you're going to change your mind about it. You're definitely like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And with the queen of hearts, I feel like, I feel like you are going to I don't feel like you're going to want to put much work into it. I, I feel like you're just going to, um, I don't feel like you're going to put much work in it. Um, I feel like you want to focus more on the outside world. You want to focus on um, your career. You might sign up for, you know, more hours. You might work a second job and it's not for the money. It's, you know what? I need to keep focused on not what I'm not what's keeping me up at night if that makes sense so yes I feel like someone is is maybe you want something to come back or change change to the way it used to be yeah I'm feeling like it's it's you can make this change Virgo you can truly make this change but you're going to have to put in a lot of work um I feel like whatever emotionally in the middle of the week is bothering you, you're walking away from it because I feel like maybe someone is being selfish or maybe it's you that's being selfish. I'm not sure, but I do see an element of selfishness here, but I don't feel like I want to say I don't feel like it's you, but you know, I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's someone else and their selfishness is kind of hurting you. And this could be a child. It could be someone you work with. It could be a family member. Um, and I just feel like you're, you're just protecting yourself. You're protecting your energies. Uh, maybe there's like, I don't know, maybe an energy vampire. You know how they say some people come into your life and they worry you and they're always asking you, can you do this and can you do that? And and this this in my life is, is disarray and this is a mess and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, well, why, do, why am I responsible for it? Why, why do I need to fix this for you? And they just keep coming at you, coming at you with all of their woes and all of their troubles. And next thing you know, you're taking on that energy as if it were yours because you know, Virgo, you like to save the world, right? And I feel like we're sometimes, Virgo sometimes attracts people that need to be saved, right? But in this situation, I feel like whomever needs to be saved, whomever is coming back, whomever you want to come back, I feel like they need to be saved and um, it's worrying you a lot. But I don't, I, I feel like, I feel like by the end of the week, you're, you're gonna be like, hope, you know what? You know what? Uh, I need to, I need some peace. I need to take care of me for a little bit. Um, it's, I'm not saying that I'm not going to talk to you again. I'm just saying right now I need to heal self and then I'll come back and try to help you. It's almost like I can't help you. I can't help you if I'm emotionally drained, right? That's kind of what I'm picking up. So take care of yourself. Take uh, like get your massages, go for your walks, um, do your meditation and things of that nature. And it's okay. Now it's okay to think about yourself first in the situation where people are pulling at you. Okay. All right. So I send you joy. Namaste and much, much love sent 